I just found the easiest way to use AI. It's like having a Swiss army knife equipped with AI at your fingertips. If you're like me, you may have run into the problem of not knowing which AI models to use for certain use cases. For example, there's Claude, Gemini, Grok, and all the ChatGPT models to name a few. And not to mention new models are coming out every single day. Well, this platform makes it easy to write blogs, code applications, and generate videos all in one place using all of the top large language models. In this video, I'm gonna show you how it can use Abacus AI to access all of this for only $10 a month. To put that in perspective, you get the ChatGPT Pro plan, which is $20, along with every single other platform for $10. So let's get right into this. All right, so first feature we're gonna go over in this video is Route LLM. And you could see we have a bunch of different large language models to pick from, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Llama, ChatGPT 4.0. But the amazing thing about Route LLM is this picks the best large language model to use for each individual prompt. So you could see here, I said, write me a blog post about the new, the AI wave of technology and its effect on teachers. And it gets routed to the best model for this use case. You could see it gets routed to Claude 3.5 Sonnet because our route LLM knows that this is the best for creative writing. All right, after that, let's give it another prompt and say, now can you generate an image that encapsulates that point? And it actually generates an image in a couple of seconds using Flux, which is pretty cool. All right, after this, let's give it one other test and say, what is a good place to eat in Bend, Oregon? And this prompt is routed to ChatGPT 4.0 Mini. You can see it searches the web and writes this list of the best places to eat in Bend because it doesn't need to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet and it's more complex creative writing. All right, next, I wanna show you how you can build your own applications using artifacts. So as you can see, I'm writing in the prompt here, use artifacts to build me an interactive game. And let's see what it gives us. You can see it's using Claude 3.5 Sonnet here because that's what we chose. It is writing our app now. You can see the code that it's writing. And real quickly, it'll actually give us a preview to view our app. Here we have it. If we click on the top right where it says preview, you can see there is now a memory game. If we click on this blue block, it shows an emoji or an icon. And our job is essentially to match them together and kind of remember where each of these are. As you can see, there is a dice right here and I need to match that dice with the one I already clicked on. I'm not very good. You can see I remembered that the controller was in the top left box. So I got my first match and then the targets. Well, yeah, I suck at this. As you can see, I finally matched the circus tent and then I matched the dice and then I matched the target. So that's pretty cool. And it shows how many moves it took. That was about 18 moves. And let's just do this again one more time to play around with it. But this is one simple prompt that we gave it and it uses artifacts in order for us to play around with this application. We could build something much more complex, but this is just a basic demo of how it works. All right, so next up on our list of features inside of Abacus AI, Chat LLM Teams, I'm gonna come over and try to actually generate an image. So I'm gonna use Route LLM and say, draw me a dragon and see what it actually builds us. All right, so it built us this image using Flux 1.1 Pro and it only took about like 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. All right, and then let's give another prompt and just say now make the dragon breathing fire. Great, now we have that same image. It's face the other way and now it's breathing fire. That's pretty cool. Next up, I wanna show you how easy it is to actually generate a PowerPoint using chat LLL teams from Abacus AI. So I basically said, I need help generating a slideshow for a presentation tomorrow, going over the rise of Nvidia's stock. And it's using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet as we selected, and it's actually generating a PowerPoint. Real quickly, it spit this out, and you could see there is a PowerPoint document here that we could open up. Now we have a document called NVIDIA Stock Analysis, and it has a bunch of different slides going over kind of NVIDIA and why you should buy their stock. This next feature is maybe one of my favorite features here, and I'm gonna give it a prompt and say, create an interactive graph going over the financials of NVIDIA over the last 10 years. So I'm using Route LLM to determine which is best to build this. It's routing it to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and as you can see, it's writing the code for our interactive graph here with artifacts. And if I come to the top right-hand corner and click preview, you can see there's now an NVIDIA financial performance graph 
and it's very interactive. It shows all the different years, the net profit, the revenue of the company. That's pretty cool. And we could change this however we would like. So as you can see, I'm now prompting it to say, now create a graph showing what a $5,000 investment in 2014 would be right now. As you know, if you would have bought Nvidia years ago, you would be very, very rich. So let's look at this to make us feel terrible that we did not buy it back in 2014. <laughs> Real quick, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This channel is AI for non techie So if you want to learn all about AI, but aren't a technical person, this channel is perfect for you. So make sure to like the video and subscribe means a lot. All right, here we go. We have the app preview. That is crazy. You could see this looks really, really good. Initial investment at $5,000. The current value of this investment is $944,444 for a total return of 18,789%. That is crazy. That's a pretty cool graph there. Now I want to show you chat LLM's search feature. So we could actually use this to browse the internet, kind of like perplexity. You could just say, what are the best bike trails in Bend, Oregon? And it will search the internet and scrape with real time information and kind of give you a response. So it's kind of like you using Google. You could see these different images here of these different bike trails in Bend, Oregon. And again, we could use it for another prompt and say, what about places to hike? Same thing, it shows all these different hikes based on different blog posts on the internet, as well as some pretty cool images showcasing some of these different hikes. All right, so using RAL LLM, I'm basically gonna tell it to generate me a document going over the book, The Alchemist. I want it to be an interactive document that has a style of The Alchemist, make it look very nice and presentable. So routing this to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and let's wait for it to write the code of this interactive kind of document and application. Looks like it wrote it out really quickly. And if I go to the preview, you can see this cool kind of like landing page sort of thing built out that goes over some of the main themes inside of the book, The Alchemist. And it even kind of uses the same font and vibe of The Alchemist book. I'm gonna come back and basically tell it to add some desert aspects, like some drops of sand or something, just to make the interface look a little bit cooler since the book is themed around the desert. For whatever reason, it's actually routing this one to ChatGPT 4.0 as opposed to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So that's pretty cool. It's awesome that you could just use this singular chat interface and have it access each of these different platforms for whatever's best. All right, so here's what it gives us. For whatever reason, it's not letting me scroll down on the page. So it's routing to Claude 3.5 Sonnet and it's going to write the code so it actually lets me interact with it. Boom, here we have it. The app is now interactive. It looks very great. And you can even see it looks like drops of sand up here at the top where it says the alchemist. That's pretty cool. I built this in literally like 30 seconds. All right, guys, there we have it. There are some of the features of Abacus AI's chat LLM teams. You can see if you come down here, there are different things you can use. You can write the code, use the playground, write the code editor, screenshot, PowerPoint gen, all this stuff. You can even humanize a certain answer it gives you. So there's some really amazing features inside of this platform. And it's great that we could use all of these large language models in one spot for only $10 a month. Whereas we'd have to pay separate subscriptions for all these platforms. So honestly, I think this could be a cheap alternative to having to get ChatGPT Plus or Anthropics paid subscription all that stuff. So I hope you guys got some value from this. Sign up with Abacus. There is a link in the description below if you're interested in that. That being said, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I make all types of content for people looking to learn AI for non-technical people. So make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.